How's it going, everyone? We're playing some Valheim. Let's continue right where we left off. Okay. So we put bell number one here. Oh, yeah. We, we're going to have to make sure to kill the little things that are lying about. Because these things will cause me a lot of trouble if I'm not careful. Bell number two. Here we go. Bell number three. Now, once we hit that middle thing, it spawns. Okay, let's make sure. Like, let's even kill these things over here. I do not want these things around while we're fighting the boss. Oh, is this thing going to explode on me? There we go. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, we should be good on this end. Is that a warlock? No, I think it's just one of the... Okay, let's, let's make sure we get rid of this guy here. There we go. Okay. You guys think we're ready? I don't know if we are, but let's put some of these things away that I know for a fact we're not going to use. We're not going to use the fire because he's actually immune to the fire. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we spawn him in. And then I'm going to run probably over here. So it's pretty important to make sure that there's nothing here. Because this is where we're going to be running to. Okay. Let's hope for the best. Okay, I think my eater is all the way up. We're going to pop bone mass just, you know, for the sake of it. I don't know. Maybe this is a mistake. Let's just go ahead and do it. I don't know how quickly he comes in. Alright, let's summon one. Um oh my god. Okay, troll, I need you to su I need you to go to the boss. Troll, I need you to go to the boss, bro. Did I I think I summoned him too early. Maybe I gotta take... Okay, bro. You... Should not be here right now. Okay, yes, the boss is coming over. Okay. There we go. Let's take care of the vultures. Why is there more vultures? Okay. Now I, I'm going to spawn in another one. There we go. Once again, I need Fader to not attack me. I need... Oh my god. I need him to attack my guys. My trolls attacking him? I can't tell. Oh my god. Well, this guy's gonna explode on me, bro. Okay, trolls. Attack Fader, bro. Oh my god, am I steaming alive? Where are all 
these people coming from, bro? Okay, I need to kind of get close enough to where I can spawn my trolls again. They are attacking them, I think. Hey, they're doing damage. Okay. And the important part is I just need to not pull aggro. If I pull aggro, I'm in trouble. What? So... Once he gets low enough in health, I think he will start spawning little minions. And at that point, my trolls might be in trouble, but I think at that point I just resummon my trolls. Okay. So far, so good. Again, I might just go a little quiet. There's not much I can <laughs> There's not much to talk about right now. You know, I just sit here and I, I, le I let my trolls beat them up. And again, I hope that Fader doesn't come this way to notice me. Yeah, I think this is definitely a glitch. Like, this is a bug, right? The fact that Fader doesn't target trolls that are clearly attacking him. This has got to be a bug. I don't see, how, like, in any world how this, like, isn't a bug. You know what I mean? But, hey, I'm glad the bug exists, because I can kill him pretty easily for the first time, you know? Yeah, because if I didn't do this, this would be a lot harder, I'm telling you guys. I looked at his attacks, man. His, his attacks are brutal. Some of them, basically... Some of them one-shot. Even the best armor up in the game upgraded, it still can basically one-shot. Not directly one-shot, but if you stand in the attack for more than 2-3 seconds, you'll be dead. Which is kind of crazy. Okay, down to a quarter. Again, and I don't know how this is going to change once he goes into a second form. Spoiler, he has a second form. Oh no, he's walking this way. Once he goes into a second form, I don't know how this is all going to change. I'm not completely sure, but... As of right now, the trolls are doing nasty things, so... Alright, magic barrier's going away. Let's go ahead and put another magic barrier on us. And a lot of you guys might be saying, David, why don't you go and attack a little bit? You're going to help the trolls out. You have to remember, this entire strategy basically relies on not pulling aggro to yourself. If I start helping and I start hitting, that's the moment where I die. And then all of a sudden, this entire strat goes out the window. And... Another important part of this entire fight is the fact that the trolls do more damage than it regens, which is also very important. That's the other thing I was scared of is, are my two trolls going to do enough damage to like kind of outweigh its heals? And clearly, yes, which is very good that the trolls do enough. I mean, the thing is also gigantic, so it's pretty easy to not miss. 
Because, you know, the troll does two things. It swipes and it throws. The throw is not going to miss most of the time. And the swipe, it's going to be pretty easy to hit it, so... And who knows, maybe last minute, when it's like almost dead, I'll like jump in and try to fight it. But I'm just going to be 100% with you. If I die while it's at 2% and it reheals and like, I'm just, I don't want to deal with it. And I know this is like, honestly, out of all the bosses, this is 100% the biggest cheese I think so far. And again, I think it might be a glitch. The fact that it can't, it does or it doesn't attack the trolls at all it has to be a glitch i don't see how this isn't a glitch so you know if you're watching this a year from now for all i know this could be patched you know what i mean but right now it's not patched and it's part of the game so i'm gonna use it guys i'm sorry you know i'm gonna use it um not to mention like i'm gonna be also completely honest with you up until this part point in the game i was like somewhat carried by my friends and my friends are not here it's all on me <laughs> and I am not confident enough to take this on one by one I don't know if you guys know but I don't play souls games or games of that type I suck at them I'm okay I shouldn't say I suck at them I just don't play them I'm not this isn't in my blood you feel me it's not part of my gamer skill set here so honestly Valheim you can almost go as far as to say it's like not my type of game but like clearly I don't know it's fun but yeah so my point saying all that was i am not fighting this thing normally no way like i uh, i do not have the balls to just fight it normally partly because i don't think it's even not that it's not possible of course it's possible but i would die millions of times and that would just be like pretty boring and frustrating in itself you know what i mean okay don't come oh my god why is he coming over here go somewhere else don't come here Okay, it's still getting hit though nothing is spawning but i heard that it starts doing crazy things around 75 percent right i didn't know if that meant 75 percent left or once we've done 75 percent of its hp so 25 now that we're past half i'm pretty sure they well no we're not past half but close to half that it's going to start doing crazy things when it gets down to 25%. That's when it's going to do things that probably are not okie dokie for me. Yeah, I was so scared. I literally watched the tutorial. And it's not barely a tutorial. You literally just sum you summon trolls and you walk away. But the most of them were posted about 2 3 weeks ago. And I didn't know Obviously, two, three weeks ago was in, like, the testing. I uh, genuinely thought that this something like this would be patched out before the final release. Apparently not. I'm, I, I was so surprised when I heard that in the final launch that this wasn't patched. Again, maybe for all I know, this was, like, part of the game. Maybe the developers wanted this. Like, okay, mage build, this is your thing. You do trolls. I don't, maybe, maybe it was all part of the plan. I don't know. Maybe, again, maybe it's, maybe it's not a glitch. I don't know. But I think this makes this fight by far the easiest for mages because I don't have to do anything. Obviously, all the other people have to get up close and, you know, fight and actually get put in danger of dying. The trolls don't hit each other, right? I wouldn't think so. All right, we're definitely past half now, though. Alright. Slowly but surely. And if you want, if you're a mage player, use this, use this as a tutorial. Uh, the one thing I would have done better is, if you guys noticed in the beginning... Okay, this is my first time fighting it. I didn't know when it actually popped up. I didn't realize that you, we had to literally wait until the meteor came down. Don't summon your trolls so early like I did. Actually kind of wait until the meteors in the sky and then get your trolls because i summon the trolls way too early oh yeah hit him in the head hit him in the head man such a scary boss with such scary moves that can be defeated in the stupidest way possible it's incredible 
Yeah, like, I upgraded all my stuff for this fight, which I likely didn't even need to, to be honest. Okay, I see some stuff over there. Okay, those guys better not come close. They're gonna they're gonna screw up my whole operation. But again, this is gonna be a whole different ball game, I think, when we get into phase two. Because at that point it'll start spawning things. And I don't know how that spawning will affect this fight. We could we could potentially be in a lot of trouble at that point. And although I've read kind of the tutorials, I haven't looked deep into them. I literally got as far as you know, the dragon doesn't attack trolls. That's as far as I've gotten. But, like, specific detail on how to beat it in Phase 2, I've not looked at. So, I'm kind of going into this somewhat fresh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's getting close again for some reason. Back it up, okay? Back it up. Don't, don't, don't make it get close to me, okay? Right, we're doing it. I'm genning a little bit, but not too bad. Everything's ge oh, it's getting dark. It must be nighttime. Nighttime is not a good time. Not a good time. And I'm just waiting for that 25%. I'm scared, bro. But man, this troll stab is goaded, not gonna lie. Goaded, I tell you. Greatest thing mages have ever gotten, bro. And to be honest, I think I probably pooped on the... When I first tried it, I, I think I pooped on it. Which I regret pooping on it because... Like, although yes, it, it attacks me too. Like, this, this is exactly what the mage needed, right? Like, okay... You gotta remember, I'm a mage. When I played with my friends, I had some melee players. I was A-OK, -okay and I was hunky-dory. So I didn't need a troll stav to help me. Like, to basically take the attention away from me. But this is perfect timing. I am now alone. This is the exact time where I need, like, I need something to pull the attention away from me. Oh, okay, there it is. They, it's summoned in its small thing. So this is, like, perfect timing is, you know, now I have an option of... You know, summoning something in that will basically take the attention away. Okay, it seems to be now below. Cause you see how it summoned something? Okay, I'm going to have to keep an eye on my trolls. When they die, I got to respawn them. How are my trolls doing over there? You guys good? Is that only one troll? Did my no no okay the both are still there. Okay, they're still doing their thing. And here's my thing, right? Its attacks are super deadly, but like I don't think it'll ever come in contact with me. So even with, see like now I'm realizing even though it's going into phase two, it's actually not that big of a problem because. It's not going to attack the trolls anyway. It doesn't have a chance to even use its new abilities. It doesn't even have the chance. Right? So actually, I was scared of phase 2, but I don't know what I'm scared of. It didn't summon that many things in the first place and yeah, I don't know. It I don't I don't know, man. It seems too easy. Like, you know, when you when you see something and you're like this is like too good to be why are you coming to me? Like, when you see something and it's, like, too good to be true? Like, this is, like, almost how it is. Where, like, really? This is it? Th this is... This is all I needed to do. It seems too good to be true. But I'm not gonna say anything until he's defeated. I'm not gonna say anything. For the sake of accidentally jinxing something. And me dying a thousand times. Trying to basically out-damage his heals again. The thing that makes me wondering is, like, the the boss bar is here. Clearly, I'm in his vicinity. Why is he not coming to me, right? I feel like that's what Modder did. Like, do you guys remember the Modder fight? Is the second I got into the range of his HP, he came directly to me. Like, beelined towards me to kill me. 
why doesn't this boss do this? I'm right here. I mean, I guess I'm crouched, but I feel like if I'm in the vicinity, it should know that I'm here. Again, I'm glad it doesn't. But it's weird to me, right? The fact that it doesn't just come to me. And I've also, I'm going to go outright and say it, I've also gotten very lucky the fact that it hasn't even came in this direction. It seems to much prefer that side of the Colosseum and maybe a little bit over there. But it doesn't seem to want to come here again. Which, I, I can't tell if that's luck. Or because it broke the walls here, it doesn't... Like, its pathing doesn't like this anymore because the walls are broken? I, I don't know. But, something's definitely up. Okay, I'm gonna pop the shield. Okay, there we go. So there's a couple of things, but... The things that it summons seem to be very weak. What are you guys doing? I need you to go back to the boss. I need you guys to go back to the boss. Is this where... Go back to the boss. Go back to the boss. Don't look at me. It probably regen a little bit of health during that time. I wasn't looking, but... Okay, good. What The nice part is neither of the trolls died to the things that it spawned. Because, honestly, that's my fear right now, is if a troll dies, I have to go back out and I have to spawn another. And the second Fader sees me, I could be in trouble. But it doesn't look like either of the trolls died. So we're good. Right. Here, do do I run out? And do I have the balls to just run out? I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I do. <laughs> but I feel like I should get the final strike. Right? That would only be like fair if I got the final strike. Maybe I'll run out. Like zero HP. I'll run out. Okay. Here we go. I know it's probably going to be dead in half a second here, but there we go. I don't know who got the last hit. Oh my god, I forgot these things still existed. No! Oh! Okay, hold on. I need. I forgot. I still do need to take care of the trolls afterwards. I completely forgot about that. Oopsies. Okay, no problem. The, look, these guys aren't a boss. I can take care of these guys pretty easily. But, oops, I totally forgot. I don't remember where it's stuff dropped to. You wanna go fight something else? Ooh. Okay. Come on, bro, seriously. Throw, th throw your rock. Okay, there goes the first one. I just gotta kill the second. This is the boss fight. Okay, guys, this is the boss fight. No, we have no health bar, but this is essentially the boss fight. I'm gonna let all my eater come back up. Its drops are still over there, right? They're not like burnt. What are you looking at, bro? What are you looking at? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. don't fight the glob, because that thing's gonna explode. Okay, it exploded. Is this the drop? Oh, my God. Don't tell me it's stuff went beta relic. Okay. Don't tell me it's stuff went into the lava, bro. Seriously? Okay, more fader relics. Fader trophy. Okay. Okay, I think I got everything. <laughs> Great, it all went into the lot. More Fader Relics. Okay, more Fader Relics. Okay, let's kind of like step over here for a moment. Let me pause my recording in case I crash. Okay, I think we should be good now. Yeah, so we got the Fader Trophy and the Fader Relics. I, I just, I want to triple check. that. Oh, the bells are not placed. Oh! Oh, I totally forgot that the bells don't stay either. Meaning... I have to, if I want to fight it again, I would need to grab more bells. Right, let's go and take care of the troll here. You can get out of my face. Thank you, troll, though. I appreciate you. Honestly, MVP. Okay, let me make sure. Again, I'm just... There seems to be stuff in there, and I don't know what. Okay, everybody. I think we could head back home. 
you know, we're triumphant in the cheesiest way possible. I'm talking like, do triple cheese right now. Y'all ever had a cheese pizza with like a little too much cheese? Eh, that's kind of where we're where we're rolling right now. But um, am I gonna complain? No. Are other people gonna complain? Maybe. I can't tell just yet. Uh, but the last thing that we have to do is, of course, place the trophy on top of the stone. And then that officially ends this Ashlands portion of the game. So we are now back into default Valheim territory of having to wait for basic... Ooh, excuse me. Basically waiting for another update. Now... The Ashlands wait was more painful for you guys than it was for me because I only started playing this game maybe less than a half a year ago. Less than a half a year ago. So for me, the wait wasn't that long. For you guys, the wait was pretty long. Is that another one of my trolls? Did I just leave this guy chilling over here? That's hilarious. Um, but now, I am in the exact same boat as you guys where now... Ashlands is done, and I will now have to wait along with you guys for the next update. So, I'm in it for the long ride. Oh my god, that's a one star. I'm in. I'm. I'm. I'm in the. I'm in for the long ride with you guys now. So, what? Um, you know what's cool about this fight, fight though? If you guys remember when we fought the queen, it just gave us like a purple cube object. This time, they actually gave us an item, <laughs> which is nice. Um, so it was weird just having, like, a placeholder item, you know? Like, it felt, like, a little weird. Like, just give me a real item. D make it not do anything, but give me a real item. They d actually did that this time. They gave us a real item at the end of the fight. D again, I don't think it does anything, but I appreciate the fact that we got one, you know? With the queen, it was just, like, a pink cube. So, like, yeah, this is weird, but... Where did we die? I think we died, like, right here, right? Shouldn't be a problem to grab our stuff. Just might need to just... Yeah, yeah, there's our body right there. No problem. Yeah, we died pretty close. Here we go. Little little jump. One hop skip. And we're there, basically. I still don't want to fight these things, so I'm just going to run and grab. Don't throw stuff at me, you bozo. You weirdos. Jump, 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 jump. I might summon another troll here if they don't if they don't stop playing games with me right now. You know what? Here. Hold that. Hold on to that for me, okay? Did the I know I saw the verger over here. Did he die? Hey bird. I don't feel like dealing with you. Do you wanna come and fight me real quick? Come here. I don't wanna deal with you later. Especially when I get near the boat. I need you to die. Okay. And throughout all this, the most amazing part is our home and the boat did not fall apart or get destroyed at any point. Which is the most magical thing of all. Because I don't think I've been to a single, like, biome where I didn't just get smushed. <sighs> Alright. Feels good to be home. Feels good to be home. Okay, I am hearing a lot of this crap. Is there some room in here? Okay, here. You can take that from me. We, we, we need more chests, bro. We need more chests. I've already built so many random chests just to try to hold all this stupid Gruten. We should probably build a house out of it, too, eventually. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try and do that soon. Maybe that's my next objective. Is since the game's done, maybe now I can focus on building a cool house. So... I guess I should say that too. Um, the series, or you know, I'm not completely done with Valheim just yet. I do want to maybe try and build a nice little house out of that Gruten thing. You know what I mean? I think that could be pretty cool. So you know, don't leave just yet. We've we've probably got another video or two coming. And technically, that's another thing that I mentioned earlier. Is I also, man, all of these are 50 stacks. Seriously? Okay, I'm throwing it in the corner. I don't even care. I need to make all of this flame metal stuff. I'm still very much interested in having a set of it. So maybe that's the next thing we'll do. But, for now. 
Um, let's go ahead and go back to spawn. Oh, and also, this was completely off camera, and I did not show you guys at all. I guess this is like a surprise. If you guys have been watching my series as a whole, you guys know that I don't have a portal to spawn. Me and my friends just never made one, and we just made the track basically from our house, which is right here, all the way down to it every single time. Well, no more. I finally made a spawn portal. <laughs> so I don't have to deal with this anymore. So surprise to you guys, you know what I mean? Like this is uh, a long time in the coming. Along with the stone portal, this is a long time in the coming. But we should have an area right here. This is the next boss. I love how there's like little gaps in between all of these and there's just like, there's like no gap here. Right next to the queen though. What does it say? A father noble and proud, he soared through skies of fire, then Mandus lowered its shroud and warped his heart's desire. Oh, okay, hold on. I need to have the thing in my hand, don't I? Bam. Woo, look at that. That thing is crazy and big and I didn't even fight it. <laughs> okay, but what is this power? Carry weight and movement speed. That's pretty good. If, okay, I'll say it this way. If you're going on a mining run, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Again, I would only come grab it if I'm going harvesting something. If if I'm not doing any harvesting, I would definitely probably just still stick with bone mass. I think bone mass is still the best. Just for not dying. Yeah. Okay. And again, we have a mystical power will be revealed another day. So they gave us an item this time, you know? And it's even telling us like, hey... Come back in a probably two years at this point. I don't know. I don't know how long this first one took. Like I said, I'm kind of new to Valheim, but it is done. Let me place the relic somewhere where I know. Again, I, I was so lucky that I found the queen stuff so quickly because I definitely misplaced it pretty quickly too. Okay, we'll place it right here. And, you know, we'll, we'll restock on some of our food here. You know what, we'll place that back. I'm going to keep these out of my hotbar, because if I summon them on accident, I will very much be screwed. Okay, so, let's do this. What do we need to gather together? So, you know what, let me at least check how much flame metal. So I need 20, 40, and... Okay, wait, no, this is carapace, flame metal... Where's the trousers? Flame metal trousers? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The, the greaves are the trousers. The best breast breastplate. I need 40, and then this is the helmet. Which I need 16. So I need 56 total. 56 flame metal. How much do I have? So that's 24 there. 30... Is that exactly 50? Oh, and I have more. Okay. Actually, psych, I have more than enough. I think I have the exact amount here, 56. But I do have some more that I can cook. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and bring this back. Maybe I should get, like, a chest right next to here. Maybe I'll do that. Hold on. Let me drop these two. Some wood in here. Where's my hammer? Let's make a chest right here. There we go. Bang and bang. Okay, and let's see what, else, what what other stuff we need for this. So, I'm sure we need hides. Maybe I should just grab everything that I think is going to be in there. No, for a fact, I'll need some hides. Let's see. I'll need the Morgan Hearts. I don't know if I'll need those, but I'm going to bring them. I don't know if I'll need that, but I'll bring it. I'll need some Eater for sure. I might need that. I might need that. I might need that. I might need that. I don't think I'll need any of that. Okay. I might be a little low on hides. I think I might have to go back and farm it and harvest more hides. Because I do not have enough of those. Let me see what I can make. I don't think anything, essentially, because I don't have hides. 
Oh, I, well, I only need three hides. I need three for that. And I, okay, so I literally need three more. Berserker axes, Nidhogg. Okay, I also want to make this. Okay, well, let's make the breastplate first. And then the helmet. So we just need the greaves, which we just need three more Nid. So that's that, and that's that. Okay. We just need a couple more hides. Now, you and I'm wondering... Do I have a few hides just lying around somewhere that I just, like, missed? That would be super cool if I did, because then I wouldn't have to go back and farm a whole bunch more. Tell me I have just, like, a few more lying around, bro, please. Oh, look, okay. We have a couple more. Perfect. Okay, so that I think that will get us just enough to make what we need. Okay, so we need that hide. We need flame metal. I don't... What else do we need? We need the we need the flame metal greaves. Okay, and a little bit of charred bone. Okay, so we have yeah, we need the greaves. Oh, uh, we need one more for the Nidhog, bro. Okay, but look, we have the full armor at least. Go ahead and place that stuff in there. Bang bang. Okay, let's see what the armor looks like, right? It'd be a shame if I never even put it on. Okay, I mean, yeah. Okay, that looks pretty sick. Let's get next to the fire. Get some light going. It's pretty good. How much defense do I have? Defense armor 38, 38. Oh, man, this stuff is big. Okay. Very cool. Do I have, do I have more wood in here? Let's make, like, another. Again, I'm terrible, man. My friends kept me in check when I was playing with them, but I'm, I'm on the loose now. I am just going to place a new chest anytime I need something at this point. Okay, let's quit both of these back. Okay, what else did we need to make? I did want to make... Well, the Berserker axes are cool, but whatever. I guess we could make a set of this Askvin... Or no, not Askvin, um... The, yeah, the Ask stuff. Ask's Endurance. You yeah, see, this is just good for movement, which is nice. I'm sure this would really help with the boss, actually, because you get better movement. This is cool. The Nidhogg is kind of what I want. Wait, do I have two more hide? How much hide do I have? Wait, I do have just enough, actually. Hold on. Hold your horses. I Charred bone and some flame metal. Oh, I just needed more flame metal. Okay, hold on. I'm a giant goofball, man. I do have enough. What am I sitting here? Um. Okay, I might need to just cook up two real quick. Yeah. Um, okay, well, while this cooks, there is one other thing that I want to look at. So if we go to here, this is furniture. There's probably a few more, like, furniture items that I could put to get more well-rested, but I don't know what they are. Heavy builds. So there's stone walls, black marble. But now we have this Grouston stuff, too. I'm sure this Grouston is probably pretty strong. We could try and build something with this. Maybe we should take a look at that, too. Okay, is there two? There is two. Okay. Let's make the Nidhogg. Um, what am I missing? What am I missing? I need the flame metal out of here, don't I? Yes. Give, give, give. Nidhogg. All right. Cool sword. Cool sword. Let's see. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> the, the whole aspect of, yeah, I'm a mage, but the whole big thing with this up update was that the fact that you could... Like, imbue power into your swords. Oh, man. Okay, so this is the normal sword. But it's got good slash. Okay, the real question is... How do I imbue it with power? How do I... How do I do that? <laughs> oh, wait. It's over here. Okay. I don't know why that took me so long to figure out, but yeah. Okay, so we got the Nidhogg, the Bleeding, the Thundering, and the Primal. 
think I want the Thundering here. I need one Law Light and six Flame Metal. Okay, so, you know, let's just grab all of our Law Light. Okay, and do I have... S oh, wait, I think all my Flame is used. Okay. How much should I grab here? We might have to cook up a little more. Alright, let's cook up the rest of what we have. I don't have a whole lot left. Let's cook up what we got. Have any more coal? No, no more coal. Okay, we'll also have to cook up a little bit of wood too. And then we can make our Nidhogg into the Thundering Nidhogg, which is going to be pretty cool. Alright, there is six flame metal. So yeah, now we can make... So let's go ahead and make the Thundering, because I think this is the one that I want. So this will make... Like, give it a special effect where it does extra lightning damage, and I think it has a slight chance to where it does, like, damage to, like, other enemies nearby. I think that's the deal here. So how do we upgrade it? We need one more Law Light. And... Oh, our Black Forge is only level 4... Does, is it? Oh. Is that like the max we can do it? We can just upgrade it one time? I don't know. Okay, but I'm very curious about trying this thing out. Should we go just like quickly over to... Just head over to the Ashlands real quick just to like test it out? And look, well, look, if I'm also going to test it out, I might as well put on my gear, you know what I mean? So let's let's put on all the gear and let's just give it a whirl let's see if it's any good um but it's also if that's the case and we're gonna need some better food okay so i'll take this with me what other foods did i have i think i have some better meals upstairs hold on yeah i have some f proteins left over okay we can do it's not the best, but it's something. Let's let's just do let's just use what we have. Let's go to the fire. Um what prevents me from teleporting? Oh. Okay, fine. You can stay right there. Let's see. Is is this cool? Is it nice? I don't know. I'm very curious. Let's go ahead and eat. So again, not the greatest food, but it's okay. I just want to test it out. Alright, let's, um, can we, I'm just gonna use it, oh, I can't use a health potion right now. Alright, I guess we'll just wait to regen a little bit. Is there anything in these? No. Again, I, th I thought the boss fight's gonna be much harder, and I'd actually utilize this place, but, no, not really. When can I, when can I use my potions? And this regen is taking, uh, it's taking forever, bro. Give it a minute. Oh, I should have brought a shield with me. Ah, well. Who needs a shield anyway? Shields are for dummies. Not really, though. Shields are goaded, but whatever. Alright, I'm tired. Let's go. Oh, mess. Let's see what we can do here. Hi, welcome to Salty Spittoon. How are you? How tough are you? Oh! Um. I don't think we have a choice now. I think we're fighting a Morgan. Ouchie. Okay. I'm in trouble. Um, um. Where's my portal? Oh, it's, oh my god, it's over there! <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, can we just, like, talk about this at another time? Later. Okay. Was that the best showcase of the weapon? Definitely not. Uh cool yeah again i i should really be using better food and i should have brought a shield and i didn't do any of that but oh well okay well for now i've been playing non-stop for basically three days now so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna chill out for a moment if you guys don't mind i'm gonna get off the game and i like i said i still want to maybe come back and 
do building with the new stuff. But for now, I'm going to get off. So, guys, thanks for watching.